What's all this talk about housing market crash? Hey, it's Rob coming to you from Home Smart Realty West. And I've been hearing a lot of talk about some crash talk, like from 2008. Well, in this day and age, the internet, we hear a lot of noise out there, and real estate's no different. But instead of assuming things are always for the worse, why don't we take a look at what some of the experts are saying about the future forecast of real estate? Forecasting real estate, like everything, it's not perfect, but would you rather listen to paid professionals that do this for a living or what somebody makes up on the internet just because they have their own agenda? So let's start by looking at this graphic. This graphic was predicted by economists and market analysis experts. Out of 105, 104 of them, and Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and National Association of Realtors all say that we are going to see an increase in home prices through 2019 and even into 2020 across the nation. Take a look at this graph showing all their predictions. You know what they are? They're all in green. Green is good, right? Green is cash. It's always good. Do you remember when the market crashed back in 2008? Only one person called out that crash and predicted it was going to happen before you even thought about it. That person was Robert Schiller, who just so happens to be a Nobel Prize winner and the co-founder of Case Schiller Index. What's he saying now? You can call the market a bubble, but it's just not the same. It's more placid. I don't expect a sharp turn in the housing market at this point. So how does this affect you? Well, for the buyers sitting around waiting for the market to crash, you better reevaluate what you're thinking. Listen to what people that are paid to make these predictions, what they are saying. Not people that are just making things up on the internet. These experts are predicting increases through 2020. They predict 2019 will see a 5.4% increase in housing and a 2.9% increase in 2020. And remember, these are national averages. We are well above a national average, not bragging or anything, but look where we live. There is something to be concerned about for both buyers and sellers. Freddie Mac is predicting that interest rates will increase up to 5.3% by the end of 2019. Something to keep in mind if you're selling, as interest rates increase, people that are now qualified to pay for your home decrease. But that's a law because, like say you have a house for sale for a million dollars and interest rates go up and that million dollar buyer now drops down to 950. Well, that million dollar 50 is now qualified for a million. So at the same time, they could get depressed, say, I don't just don't wanna buy a house. But the people that want to buy a house, there's no turnaround for you. Once this trace go up and your qualifying amount goes down, that's it. So you're going to end up in a lower home than where you would right now as interest rates go up. And as experts are predicting, they are going to go up. So if you're pre-qualified for a loan, you're just sitting around waiting for a crash. It's not happening. You need to get involved right now and look for a home so you stay up in that higher range where you're at now, okay? And one last thing, even though the Fed raised rates a few weeks ago, the 30-year bond yield market went down, which kept interest rates down. They actually dropped a little bit from 4.85 to about 4.6. They are going to go back up, but I'm just saying right now is a good time to act. So if you like, please like or share. I always appreciate that. Any comments are appreciated. And if I could help you in any way, or if you know somebody could use my services, I am always here to help. Call, text, or email. Thanks.